In this illustration, we'll discuss about a case when all bodies move together without a sliding. Here, the figure shows two blocks M1 and M2 connected by a light string over a smooth wedge of mass M. And we are required to find a horizontal force F, which is applied on wedge so that masses M1 and M2 do not slide with respect to M. So here we can directly write uh, if uh, all bodies move together. Here we can write the acceleration of uh, the system as F divided by M plus M1 plus M2. This is the acceleration with which the whole system will move. And if we analyze the motion of blocks M1 and M2, these will experience a pseudo force in opposite direction and both will be considered at rest with respect to this block. So here to analyze the case, uh, we draw the free body diagram of uh, both blocks M1 and uh, that of M2. In this situation for M1 here we can see in downward direction it will experience a force M1G. And uh, if uh, this is the incline on which this is uh, resting, so for M1 block we can say this angle is alpha. So a tension in a string T will be acting over here. A pseudo force M1 A would be acting on it toward left. This angle is alpha. And normal reaction will be acting on it, which is N1 normal to the inclined surface uh, at an angle alpha. Similarly, we draw the free body diagram of M2 where the slope of incline is relatively less. It will experience the weight M2G in downward direction. This slope is beta. So here the tension acting on it is in this direction T. Pseudo force is toward here. This is M2A at an angle beta. And the normal reaction is also at an angle beta acting normal to this incline which is N2. Now for equilibrium of uh, these masses we can write for equilibrium of uh, M1 and M2. Here we can write, we can balance all the forces acting on the two blocks. So for first block we can write T plus M1A cos alpha is equals to M1G sin alpha. Say this is our first equation. And in normal direction, right now you don't need to mention because it is not moving in this direction. For the other block, we can write in this direction it is M2A cos beta is equals to T plus M2G sin beta. So this is our second equation. Here we add these equations, then this tension gets cancelled out. We can continue over here. If we add the first and second equation, this will result. We can take acceleration common, so this will be m1 cos alpha plus m2 cos beta is equals to here it is g m1 sin alpha plus m2 sin beta. So here this will result as the value of acceleration with which the whole system should move for m1 and m2 to be at rest. That is G times M1 sin alpha plus M2 sin beta divided by M1 cos alpha plus M2 cos beta. If this is the acceleration, we can put acceleration over here and get the value of force, which should be applied on this system so that the whole system will move in such a way that M1 and M2 will be Manage the address with respect to the bigger block. So this will be M plus M1 plus M2 multiplied by G times M1 sin alpha plus M2 sin beta divided by M1 cos alpha plus M2 cos beta. So this will be the final result of the problem. The force so which is required to be applied on the system for M1 and M2 to be addressed on capital M.